Welcome to the Hardwood Mansion. Purple Iris is here. We're going to go see Chef Dan. We're going to go inside and we're going to cook some great, great dishes. We're going to talk a little bit about gardening. And Chef Dan has something special in his basement for us that he's going to show us a little bit later. Why don't you come on in? Psst. Hey, you. Yeah, you, listening to the show. You know the one thing that's been around since those cave guys were living and still around? Art, right? They used to scratch it into the walls. Forget about it. I know you ain't going to do that, so I got something for you. You want to decorate your cave? Well, your house. You want to have something really nice decorating your walls, right? Yeah, of course you do. I got a tip for you. Check out artbyweez.com. Her art is gorgeous. You can even get high-quality prints of her art starting at only 10 bucks. Go there, or drop into her studio at 700 Diamond Avenue in Martinsburg, West Virginia. Tell her Dan sent you. She'll give you 10% off. Hey, I'm looking out for you. Chef Steve, how are you? Thanks for inviting us today. Oh, I'm so excited to see uh, to see your kitchen yes. and to find out what you're going to make for us today. And we also know that there's something really, really special that you have for us later on in the episode. Yes, definitely. We're going to talk about some gardening. It's a uh, spring, you know, spring into summer, great time of year. A lot of good things to do. So, Chef Dan, tell us what we're doing today. Well, today, Steve, we're going to do a, a natural uh, couscous crab entree item, and then we're also going to do a appetizer salad plate, which is a Vietnamese spring roll. Um, you can see here we have a bunch of items from our hydroponic gardens and also from our greenhouse. Um, we have some fresh pea shoots, we have nera garlic grass, uh, we have uh, lemon thyme, uh, fresh Italian large leaf basil, uh, flat leaf parsley. Uh, one of my favorites is a, a sorrel which has a really nice light citrusy flavor. Uh, and then also a red vein sorrel. Uh, we have some tom thumb lettuce and dive and then a, a red oak baby lettuce. Uh, and these are the items that we're going to be working from today so it should be a lot of fun. Very good, let's get cooking. Chef Steve, this is Tracy. Tracy's our head grower at the Park Hi, Steve. And uh, microgreens is one of our hot things, so she's going to give you a little snapshot of what we got going on down here. Great. Um, what we have here are microgreens, which will eventually grow up to be full size vegetables, but at this time they're only about a week old. This, for instance, is spinach. Um, well, look how small that is. Yeah. Well, these are little babies. They're very young and um, Plants at this age are very high in protein, so it's a good source of nutrition. So we should keep you going today. Is we'll try that out. Is it true in a lot of cases that these are more nutritious than the older vegetable? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the abundance um, you have to have. There's, there's, a, can, there's a stronger taste, a stronger flavor to them. They're, they're small, but they pack a lot of the punch. They wow. pack a lot of punch, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And this, for instance, is radish, mm -hmm. which you could try. And it's as strong as, a, as the the, book, the root on a full-grown radish. Wow. And it, they can be used as um, garnishes or as salad ingredients. Very flavorful. And you don't, you know, you really don't see this anywhere. This is this is something that chefs have known about for for quite a while. But it, it, the people that are out there that are just viewing just really don't have a lot of exposure to something like this. Well, I've been doing it for about six years now, mm -hmm. and it's just sort of coming into its own now. I mm -hmm. think a lot of people are coming to appreciate it. Very good, very good. This is also an item, Steve, that can be very expensive because 
Uh, they're very delicate. They're very hard to ship and very hard to hold. They can right. only they can only be a microgreen, let's say, for two weeks, and then they go into more of an adult form and get a little more bitter. So there's some time things, and that's one of the advantages that we have being able to to produce everything from seed to plate. Whereas we come down here the minute you order it, cut this off, and then that's going to be right on your plate. So this never has any walk-in time, never any cooler time. The flavors are never adulterated, and, and that's one of the things that we really think is really cool and exciting. You know? being able to offer the best flavor, the best product that we possibly can. Somebody forgot to close the door. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, you know. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is we're rolling and then I'm going to go three, two. Okay. So, Dan, tell us about what we're doing. Hold today. it, hold it. Okay. I was telling you what I was going to do. I, I didn't mean to do it that time. Uh, okay. <laughs> now we do it. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't touch that one. Man. We ain't even going there. <laughs> you want to make sure that you get some tightness to it. So you want to grab everything there. So there's no shrimp in this. Exactly. It's just a straight vegetable. Actually, we forgot the shrimp. <laughs> so 